It's National Police Week. Our team on Wake Up Idaho has been talking with leaders from different law enforcement agencies around our area all week long. And today we're joined by Sergeant Ken Mensel from the Twin Falls County Sheriff's Office to learn about the office's role in their community. Sergeant, thank you for making time today. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Well, Sergeant, what does community involvement mean for the Twin Falls County Sheriff's Office? You know, it means everything because that's who we serve and protect and we believe in being interactive on our community. And, you know, we have a community relations sergeant and public information officer that participate and are involved in various civic and business groups. Uh, and by interacting with the community, we're more in touch with the various needs that we see. Uh, it's important to be transparent in what we're doing as well, mm -hmm. while working to give back and, and meet the needs of the community. Now tell us about maybe some of the different events that the, the Sheriff's Office is involved with throughout the county and different communities. Sure, you know, we have an amazing school resource officer program in our, in our county schools and, and they're involved on in a regular basis with programs such as Good Cookie of the Quarter where they work with a local business in getting cookies to students who go above and beyond in being good stewards. Uh, they mentor senior projects and, and they teach about different subjects including drug and alcohol awareness. Uh, we have an amazing search and rescue team that volunteers their time in helping those in extreme situations that include a, a wheel train team in the disciplines of dive. Uh, repel, swift water rescue, and they're frequently called upon not only within our community, but in neighboring counties and states. Uh, we work with the community organizations and schools teaching how to react and improve safety when it comes to uh, a mass casualty event or an active mm. shooter event. Um, every year, our deputies work with uh, less fortunate families by doing such things as a uh, back to school shop with a cop or our yearly Easter egg hunt for children with developmental needs. And, and I could just go on and on about just how great the deputies are at the sheriff's office and just how willing we are to work with our community from you know being called out on a, on a dog call to helping uh, grandma change the tire on a vehicle that she can't really take care of that's awesome when we see that kind of thing happening you know we hear a lot about community policing and those pictures we were showing we're seeing your deputies and officers out you know mingling with the public you know how important is it for deputies to get out of their patrol cars and, and just talk to people maybe you know reduce that or, or pick up the amount of trust between the law enforcement and the community? You know, and, and that's an interesting question because back before we had deputies and patrol cars, you know, that was what they did. They, they would walk a beat. And oftentimes, you, you know, you hear people say, you know, um, coffee with a cop or the, there's a, a joke that cops eat donuts. And, and really what that was all about was um, businesses will call uh, you know, what they would provide free coffee or donuts to get law enforcement to come in and, and interact with the community in those different environments. And that's where a lot of the information as to what was going on in the community happened. And, and that's where that role of community police policing uh, first took place. And, and whether we're, you know, actively giving a presentation at the Kiwanis Club or um, the Kiwanis or um, just different business and civic groups out there, we're able to get a feel or get a pulse on the community and, and address those needs. You know, oftentimes when people, we're the ones that people call when they're in crisis and we're the, the last, when they have nowhere else to turn, they turn to us to help in situations of suicide, uh, domestic violence, drug issues, uh, problems with their teenagers at school. And, and because of all those different things that we see, um, we're exposed to a lot of repeated trauma. And as a result, we're finding it, you know, increasingly difficult to find resources to help our first responders cope with that trauma that they're faced with on a regular basis. And so it must be nice with that being said to be able to be out in a positive environment to meet with the people you protect and serve. Absolutely. Things like National Night Out where we meet in the park and, you know, we interact with the community and bring out some of our things like, you know, canine demonstrations and, and our SWAT guys show up with some of the things that they utilize in the performance of uh, their duties, uh, our hostage negotiators, and they bring out the throw phone and the community can kind of see what we have and and what we're dealing with and some of the things that we use to make our place, a uh, make the Magic Valley a safer place. Building relationships in the community. Sergeant Ken Mensel with the Twin Falls County Sheriff's Office. We appreciate you, sir, and thank you for serving your community along with all of your colleagues there. Thanks, we appreciate the time to get out there and talk about what we're doing. And enjoy National Police Week as well. Thank you, sir.